people that are dealing drugs that are laced with fentanyl. You are destroying people. You are destroying families. Words from Mike Gannon with the DEA following the announcement of an Indiana man now facing federal charges. This after someone seriously injured from the fentanyl he sold. If convicted, this man, Corey Avon outlaw, could face a mandatory minimum sentence of 20 years up to life in prison. It comes after my special report last week focusing on a state law. Again, this was federal. Now we're switching to state for a second. In 2018, lawmakers made dealing drugs resulting in death a crime punishable by up to 40 years in prison. In the past four years, nearly 7,000 Hoosiers have died via overdose, while fewer than 75 people have been charged with that new tougher law. We have so much feedback on that report. We wanted to talk more with the DEA to see how it's handling that federal case we just talked about and others. Mike Gannon now with us this morning. He's the assistant special agent in charge, joins us live to answer some questions. Good to see you again. I want to start with that case yesterday. You actually had three people, but one of them was a Hoosier. The gentleman I was just speaking with charged now federally. What does that mean for him and what is he accused of doing? Well, obviously he's accused and the, the individual from uh, is from Evansville and he's accused of providing fentanyl that led to a serious bodily injury for a fellow inmate. And as a result, he falls under the federal guidelines and he's being charged out of the Western District of Kentucky for providing that almost lethal dosage unit of fentanyl. We're seeing a lot of fentanyl. We're seeing a lot of overdoses. There were more than 100,000 across the United States last year. There's this debate on how we're handling the overdoses, how um, prosecutors should be prosecuting these crimes federally. What are you all doing now? How many cases like this have you guys indicted someone in when it comes to federal crime? Yeah, we've had about almost 10 of them that we've been able to uh, get through to an indictment phase. And we're continuing each and every day to work with our, our state and local partners to keep our community safe. And it's important for people to realize every single day we're out there uh, investigating drug trafficking organizations and holding them accountable. And when we talk about fentanyl, I've, I've been on the show and, we, and we, we, we've discussed it several times, the precursor chemicals are coming from China. They go to Mexico and it's mass produced and, and they've flooded the United States with millions of pills. And obviously the Midwest is taking a, a lot of uh, the, the, the pills and they're out there. And we've seized in this area alone hundreds of thousands of the pills, multi kilograms of the fentanyl. But what everyone has to understand when they make these counterfeit pills, it's not just like an M30, it's now an Adderall, Xanax, in other drugs, of course, you know, they're adding fentanyl to cocaine, mm -hmm. they're adding fentanyl to heroin. And if anybody's out there utilizing that, you could die of a drug overdose. And, and the other thing, if you're a supplier, you don't know what you're giving somebody. If you're dealing drugs, it's illegal. And if you're dealing drugs that we're telling you these counterfeit pills that are mass produced from Mexico are laced with fentanyl, just two milligrams of fentanyl is a lethal dosage unit. Out of the pills that DEA seized, four out of every 10 had a potential fatal dosage unit in them. So don't deal those drugs. And if you do, you're going to be held accountable. And if we can get the evidence to show that you were the individual that distributed a lethal dosage unit, it'll cause serious bodily injury to someone. There is a federal statute, uh, Title 21-841-B1C. Uh, that is the statute. And obviously, you know, we coordinate with our, our federal prosecutors. And if, if it warrants federal prosecution, that's where we go with it. We're out of time, but I did want you to answer this one question for somebody that says it shouldn't be just about punishment. And it sounds like you were talking about punishment and, and, and just putting somebody in prison. What, what do you say to that for somebody who um, is opposed to maybe hearing what you're saying today? Well, first of all, I, we're constantly talking about awareness and prevention. And it takes the community to come together and understand that this is a crisis going on in the country right now. And we need common people to come together. And if they know somebody that is using drugs, encourage them to get the necessary help. But this can attack anybody, especially even somebody that's never used drugs one time in their life. And they could have a weak moment where they're hanging out with friends, meet new friends, and they're offered something. And they need to have the courage to say, absolutely not. And that should be the cool thing to do. Yeah. Do not take drugs, period. We're going to hope that we can continue that conversation and educate people. Mike Gannon with the DEA.
Thank you. Come back again soon. For yes. more information on links to some of these topics that we've been covering, there's more of these in interviews at fox59.com. We'll be right back.